Welcome to the ranch. My name's Waddy Mitchell, if you don't know, and I've been asked if I won't share with you my process in writing. I didn't even know I had a process till I was asked to share it. I would say that there's a number of things that go into anybody's process. Uh, oftentimes, uh, you'll do a lot of, of uh, studying on a subject before you decide you can write about it. I write about cowboys and the cowboy life, and so that's my subject. As you can see, on the ranch here, it's quiet. We're over a mile from the nearest neighbor. We uh, are up here by ourselves, and if this doesn't inspire writing, I don't know what will. I'll take you around to a couple other places that I'll scribble things down to. Well, this is my office, and it used to get the most work. Uh, I know old top desk here. I, I would sit here for hours and hours and write at it. And then my wife, who was uh, computer literate, decided that maybe I ought to get that way. And, I was bought one of them great big Mac computers, and I'll be honest with you, it scared me. I'd run that little mouse around, and I'd run that little arrow off, and I could never get it back on the screen. I had a heck of time. Still, I can only snort and kick at it. I can't use it. So about eight years ago, she come up with an idea and got me an iPad, and it's kind of like finger painting. I didn't know how to type, but, uh, I learned on that iPad. It's just one of them things that has saved my life. So, it's given me the opportunity to not only write on the porch on nice days, but here for for the comfort of the of the uh, office. And I've got a sound studio, and I've got another little recording situation to where uh, I can hear what the words sound like. It's, to me, it's very important to get the music in the language. And although it sounds good in your mind putting it on paper, oftentimes I need to hear it before I say yes, that's it. Then there's the other place I write. So this is the place I love to spend most time in this house. This is my library. It, uh, it gives me some comfort. I don't know why that is. Uh, books might be going out nowadays. People don't seem to want them. But those of us that have had them, uh, they become almost close friends and, and you're there. And they somehow inspire me when I'm around here. So in this massage chair and with the new kind of lamps that uh, duplicate the, the sun's light, uh, which makes me be able to write without eye fatigue for at least two hours longer in the evening time. And so I've got all this set up in comfort and with an iPad, I just start writing. And it's a beautiful thing. I didn't ever learn to type, so that was uh, a little bit of a problem. When I first started, I'd yell at my wife, Lisa, there's no K on this thing. And she said, yeah, there's a K. And I said, I've been over it three times. And she'd come in and just boot and touch that. <laughs> Not long before I'd yell, Lisa, there's no Q on this thing. But I learned finally to do it, and I learned how easy it is. Instead of writing and rewriting with a pencil, it's a whole lot easier to move stanzas around, things like that, with an iPad. I'm not saying that's the best thing for everybody to do, but they asked for my process, and to be honest with you, uh, this is it. Comfort, no time limit, because that's something I can't do. 
Uh, I know a lot of people that wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, they're in their office and they're sitting there writing. No matter what it is, they are writing. And then they stop and have lunch and maybe a little nap and then go back to it and write until supper time. I am not that way. I, I have a hard time. If something's not there in my head, it's not there and I don't try to find it. But if it becomes available to me and my, my mind starts to work, in, which doesn't happen that often anymore, but if it starts working, I'll get an idea in the middle of the night. I'll wake up knowing I've got to get it down because of my advanced age. It doesn't all come back to me in the morning. I'll put it down and then the idea will start expanding and there'll be about three days there. I'll be pretty hard to communicate with or uh, talked into to getting out of my little writing space. I am still very bad about that, but once I start writing, uh, I just, I can't stop myself. And I shouldn't apologize for that, I guess, because that's great. That's what we writers like to do. And I'm still as thrilled with it now as I was as a young man starting out. Well, now we've talked about comfort and maybe, you know, getting inspired, things like that. That's got to be part of the process. But one that I can't forget, a big part of my process, coffee. Need it. Drink a lot of it. I'll bet a bunch of other writers do too. But now that we've seen a little bit of where where I live and get a get to work, I uh, want to leave you with just one piece of wisdom. And it comes straight from me, so you know it's got to be good wisdom. <laughs> Writer is a verb, not a noun. <laughs>